Well, it's a Mason Bee house. I've made these little kits for people, and it's just the five pieces of the house, and we're just gonna be assembling them and putting the nesting reeds in. All you need is a hollow stem with a capped end. You can just attach it with a single point here to shed, tree, somewhere sturdy. Well, as soon as the weather hits about 50 degrees, you can set it out. There'll be bees, you know, different species, probably all through July, August. My name is Claire Landy. I own Junebug Bee Farm, and I'm here at the Duluth Folk School tonight to teach people how to make their own mason bee house. The mason bees are really gentle too, so even like with kids and stuff, you can go right up to the nest and observe them and they don't, it doesn't bother them. A lot of the fruit, fruits and vegetables rely on bees to actually transfer the pollen between flowers, and that's, that's critical. It doesn't take very much to help the bees. So if you have a little yard in town, um, you can create like a, a little safe haven for bees. The Slice from WDSE WRPT.